Right. Welcome to our discussion about entrepreneurship and innovation. It's important that if you are in this class of business management, you know the differences between entrepreneurship and innovation. How are you going to use your background? How are you going to use your knowledge? How are you going to utilize those information or um, the knowledge that you learn from people that you meet into your own business? into your own advantage. Let's move. The meaning of entrepreneurship, the word entrepreneur originates from the word entreprendre, which means to undertake. Sorry, my... Cursor is acting up. Sorry. Topics: entrepreneurship, meaning and definition. Um, who are an, um, who are the entrepreneur? Different types of entrepreneurship, innovation, entrepreneurial ideas and creativity, and growth mindset. Let's begin with the definition. The word entrepreneurship originates from the French word entreprendre, which means to undertake. Entrepreneurship is doing much more than seems imaginable with much less than seems possible. Entrepreneurship is the inventing and risking of time, money, and effort for starting a business. Entrepreneurship re refers to the general trend of setting up new enterprises in society. What do you think is the difference between entrepreneur and um, business man? Gene. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's actually um, valid. Mm -hmm. It's comparable, right? But there would be tasks that are um uh, similar. What about you? Uh Marie Cecilia, what do you think is the difference between an entrepreneur? <laughs> All right. So here are some comparisons. Entrepreneur, innovation and risk taking, businessman, management and operations, problem solving, entrepreneur, profit maximization, that's for a businessman. Entrepreneurship, ownership, and then businessman, adaptation, and growth. So mainly, um, if you are an entrepreneur, you are somehow um, taking risk when it comes to businesses. Say, for example, the businesses of um, Rosmar. Rosmar is an entrepreneur. Yes, because he has a self name. Yeah, for them. Bigger companies, those could be categorized as businessman, businesswoman, like small SME, small and medium enterprise. Yes. Like, yes, like it, it could be like a smaller scale. And then for businessman and businesswoman, that would be like a bigger scale. McDonald's. You would not say that they're entrepreneurs. <laughs> yes, Jollibee, they're a corporation. You could call them like a business woman. Um, if you have your own product line, yes. <laughs> All right, your products could be, yes. If you have like uh your your you have a salon and then if your salon is um, trending when it comes to the um, outrageous designs of your nail art. But that would be the difference between the two. Entrepreneurship, the process of starting and operating your own business. The people who create, launch, organize, and manage a new business and take the risk of business ownership. What are the risks? Business failure, financial loss loss of employment, the loss of 
time, 33% of the new people fail within two years, 50% fail within four years. See? So on the third year, ideally, not necessarily applicable for everyone, you already got your return of investment. So on the third year, if your capital is one million, you should have gotten it if the business is low. If the business is like fast, you could have like gotten it for within one year or two, right? Then at the third year, that's the time, ideally, that's the time that you will create branches, you will create, um, you will venture to a different country perhaps, um, you will venture to um, a different business on the third year because you have to evaluate. But you see, the contract there is two years. So um, if our contract here, the business license is two years, then ideally on the second year, um, if the business is low, then at least you have return of your investment, right? Um, if on the first year, you already got your investment, you're doing good. On your business renewal, then expand that. Now, let's move on. Advantage of entrepreneurship. Personal freedom and satisfaction. Increased self-esteem and income generates employment. Part of nation building. Most businesses are related to hobbies and interests. Your hobbies and interests. I can see that Jane's hobby is to beautify herself. Hmm? <laughs> then put business on that, right? Um, the background for uh, Cecilia is farming. Then her business could be that because that's the available resources that she has back home. She has available lot. She has available um, farm. Then utilize that, right? Yes. Because this is like your brainchild. This is your baby. Then you have to like take care of it. Nurture your business. Yes, yes. Then if you, like, if it's not out of your interest, maybe, like, someone pitch, maybe you can just, like, invest. Let your money grow. Yes. Like, say, for example, crypto is not for you. You don't have time for those technical, uh, yes, stuff. But you see that there's money, then there are people that can do the crypto for you. Yes. All right. Take this money then good luck. <laughs> but I don't know how that works. I I, I, I hear some of the, my, my like friends that are into cryptocurrency and stuff. But for me at the moment, I would still rather go with traditional because I don't understand it. But I'm open for it. I mean, I would love to understand it. I just don't have time right now. Uh, but I heard that, yes, there, there is money. Yeah. Uh, who else among my students are into cryptocurrency, uh, Binance and stuff? Uh, Sinomar. Sinomar is my student from Microsoft Office. She's into that. Yeah. Do you believe that there's personal freedom and satisfaction when you are doing business? Uh, Apparently, what's happening is you dedicate. You even work more than when you work compared when you were an employee. <laughs> you are managing people. It's continuous. It's continuous. You know. <laughs> then ask find someone to work for you. Yes, to so at least unload. Mm -hmm. It's important that you are hands on. But um, you have to delegate tasks. If, exactly. If accounting is no longer your expertise, find someone to do that. If operations uh, would ideally uh, be an expertise of someone you know, probably you can delegate that, ask for help, right? Next. Page 16, are you an entrepreneur? The entrepreneurial personality are self-starter. 
know what you want and get up every day and make it happen. Ongoing person, outgoing person, enjoy meeting new people, life learner, consistently looking for ways to improve yourself, your product, and meet customer needs. Optimist, create your own self fulfilling prophecy. You must truly believe, regardless of the circumstances. Those are the attitude of an entrepreneur. Okay. Yes. Failure, the best diagnostic question. What happens when people fail? Different reaction. Failure is inevitable, even desirable. Failure teaches many things more than success. Failure, we learn to survive. Failure, we find our strength. We know um, the mistakes and then we would not do it again. Well, of course, it's always calculated risk. Right? That's why we're doing this. We calculate the risk. If you have one million, um, or if you have to invest one million uh, their hams or pesos, and then you have to know the allocation. This is where I'm putting it. This is where I'm investing it. This is where I'm uh like this is the amount set for that. Right? So that's part of the calculated risk. It's not just like a gamble. It's a gamble, but you know, come on, that's funny. So we calculate. <laughs> well, that's the reason. <laughs> mm. Yes. Correct, yes. At least you have like funds. Those are your contingency funds. Correct, correct. Yes, and then you will be zero. <laughs> and that's what we don't want to happen, right? Uh, it's always a calculated risk. Different types of entrepreneurship, optimist, uh, opportunistic Entrepreneurship hit an iron when it's hot. The proverb describes the kind of entrepreneurship and its best exhibit of the features of opportunistic entrepreneurship. New opportunities are also offered by the changes in the environment, but not every business owner is able to identify the opportunities and utilize the same in a timely manner. The opportunistic entrepreneurship described as identifying, exploiting, and performs the upcoming opportunities in the first hand. Example, social distancing, food delivery, freelance tutorial, online food, home business. Those are the opportunities that opened during the pandemic. Let's continue our discussion. We say here, incubative entrepreneurship. The generation of new sort of ideas and ventures within the premises of the organization is involved in this category. Entrepreneurship it manages it in a productive way and makes sure the material gain of the business firm. Example, Microsoft, Google always discover and promote new technologies in a wide range of products, forms differentiation among all the categories and products in marketplace. Right now, what's the newest? Meta, universe. I'll show you what the sample of Meta Universe data is. <clears throat> Metaverse, yes. Imitative entrepreneurship under an agreement. Under, <clears throat> under an agreement with a franchise, this entrepreneurship imitates or copying the operating products and services. It is a model that assists to spread a new technology across the globe so that people can utilize it. It involves the adoption of current technologies from across the world and takes an existing technology with some few modifications that suit the local conditions. Examples, unbranded products that put on own label prints or marks, generic common in foods and RTW including technology. Um, <laughs> she in, uh, there's like she in outfit in Dubai. I think that was the first. 
Shein outlet. And those are like the, I'm not sure. I think those are the Shein products that were not delivered or not claimed or they just have like products there that are being delivered here. Maybe they had like, um, I'm completely not sure haven't been there, but I've seen it from the outside. I hosted one anniversary and then next to the venue is the Shein outlet. Probably they made some partnership of deals. So the products from Shein are going to be shipped here because UAE is open. It's a port for um, trading. Yeah. Let's continue. That's imitative entrepreneurship. Something that you will sell but from imitation. This is not the original. Well, this is almost a few words. <laughs> this is almost a few uh, washes already. <laughs> but think of it. Right? It's like thick. Next. <clears throat> Small business entrepreneurship. A greater number of businesses in society are small that employ more than 50% of total non-government workers. The profit in this type of businesses is pretty less as the main reason behind them among employers is creating a living for their families. Some premier examples of uh, small business entrepreneurship are grocery stores, plumbers, confectionery stores, electrician, house cleaners, consultants, and hairdressers, among others. A small entrepreneur can be uh, the person who operates a business by hiring local people, uh, family members, the majority of them funds their businesses through friends or family or business. These are your small business entrepreneurs. You know that the small uh, businesses that are, you see there the examples. Innovation is about finding what people need. not what people say they want, it's what people need. What do the people need here in the UAE? What else? Housing. How creative are they now? Look at this space. How many loft beds can we create here? Eight. <laughs> love beds, yes. We can divide this into. Yes. Look at this space. Look at this space. This one is one love, love room, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there will be a small space for entrance here. That's the, the business is uh, And that's innovation. People need a cheaper place to stay with somehow a little privacy. That's what we have. 